Apex has had so many things that were removed from the game just as quick as they were added. All things that were added for a short time but never saw a return. Much like an exclusive currency. A game mode that was only in the game for one hour paying coins for heirlooms and also the most pay to win skin ever of which will be featured in this video along with a lot more so i put some of the best ones into a tier list and the ones that go at the top are going to be the things i'm so glad respawn removed and then at the bottom maybe not so glad so let's go over it and we're starting off with a flash rather than a bang because when seer first came out his tactical flashed you when it first hit you and everybody hated this this made seer extremely frustrating to fight against especially if you're playing in a dark room. This easily made Seer one of the most powerful legends in the game, so this is going in S tier because never add this back respawn. Moving on though, because I think a lot of you will want respawn to add this back. Exclusive currencies for collection events. This was a currency in the Iron Crown event and it came in every single event pack and replaced the two random cosmetics on each side. First of all, this currency did look pretty cool, but it allowed you to do something very interesting. It allowed you to enter the second type of event store that only allowed purchases to be done with this special type of currency. And this store had some really cool cosmetics and pretty much all of them have never come back to Apex since. And I think it would be pretty cool for Respawn to do this because honestly, the two cosmetics on the side of event packs usually aren't worth it. And that's why it's going in C because I kind of want that back. On this next one, I'm sure a lot of you are going to agree with me because next we're looking at the ability to get damage badges in LTMs. This was doable up until a few months ago where if you got a 4k and 20 bomb in LTMs like Armed and Dangerous, you would get a damage badge from it. But unfortunately, in the last release of Armed and Dangerous one season ago, it turns out Respawn removed this. So because I think everybody wants this back and it will benefit everybody, this is going in D tier, meaning I want it back the most. Although I can't say the same for this next one because uh, we all like packs, right? We all love paying money for random items. Yeah, well, that bit was sarcastic because we don't. But for some reason, Respawn thought it would be a good idea to go one level above packs and make a charm pack. The thing is, it didn't drop three charms. It drops one charm. This thing was entirely useless. We get so many charms anyway, why would we need a charm pack? This is going in A. Maybe it could have been improved upon, but they removed it instead, and we haven't seen it since. But for the next rating, this is the smallest addition that annoyed people the most. Because for some reason, around a year ago, Respawn changed every single seasonal tracker to display the logo of the season, rather than just straight up the name of the season, which is, you know, the easiest thing to do. And this annoyed a lot of people, surprisingly, to the point where people were making sheets showing which logo corresponds to each season and it annoyed people that much respawn removed it not long after i think this is a bit of tunnel vision from respawn they thought everyone knew the season logos because most likely they do so they added this and because of that that's going in a tier maybe it could be improved upon one day like the other one but i'm glad they removed it Unlike this next one, although it may just be nostalgia talking, because Olympus came out in Season 7, and in the exact same season, it got a map update, meaning Olympus had a point of interest that was only there for half a season. And what was this? Well, this was the cargo holes. This only existed for half a season before Fight Night took where it stands. And this was a pretty fun place to fight, although it did have its issues. It was big, it was open, and you could get on the side of these boxes without activating an out of bounds timer. Although I can't vouch too much how good it was because it's been two years since I played on this. But really, I'm kind of indifferent to respawn removing it. They removed it for a superior point of interest, so this is going in B tier because meh. Although for this next tier I'm putting down, maybe I'm a bit biased because I'm an ex Mirage main but basically around season two or three i'm pretty sure his logo changed from this to this so they made him look a lot less like guy fieri and this change affected a lot of parts of mirage like it changed his badges up but it's such a small change not a lot of people remember it and i can live without it so this is going to beat here because i don't really care to be honest but now i'm going to talk about the most controversial thing on this list and um i'm getting prepared to look at the funny comments because respawn at one point two years ago were going to remove tap strafe they were so set on this they made a tweet that is still up to this day that says they're removing it in the season 10 collection event but eventually they were talked down from it by i think moki sniper or something so this tweet remains as a very weird moment in apex's history where it could have gone a very different way potentially into less of a movement game and a bit more controller dominated and you all know i play keyboard and mouse so i'm gonna put this in a tier because i'm pretty glad this didn't go through so i'm gonna scoot along to the next one now to avoid the comments because the next
next one is about the game mode that was only in the game for one hour before it was removed due to glitches I'm pretty sure but there isn't much detail around this because this is the double life mode. Essentially it's what it says on the tin. When you died in this mode you'll respawn above where you died in a dropship and you'll be alive again. It's just really that simple, honestly. And it was removed very, very quickly. The main consensus is it was removed within one or two hours of it releasing. And on the wiki patch notes, it does say it was introduced and then removed shortly after on the 13th of April, the same day it dropped. So because of this, and because I really wish I played it, this is going at D tier. It should come back. We should be allowed to play this. It seems very interesting. But the next one we're going to talk about, I'm pretty sure no one wants to come back because uh, all of you are sane, I hope at least. But this is paying coins for heirlooms. Now this sounds cool, but there's a twist because back in the Iron Crown collection event, you had to buy every single collection event item and then pay $32 on top to get the heirloom rather than just unlocking it after getting every single collection event item. So yes, at one point you could buy heirlooms with coins, just not in the way you think because you needed to spend a lot more coins to unlock the coin purchase, if that makes sense. So this is going in S tier. I never want to see this again. Leave it with a Seer Flash, man. And I think the opinion's gonna be similar with this next one we're gonna go over. Because this is reactive skins. But no, not the reactive skins in the Battle Pass. These reactive skins replaced heirlooms in collection events. And this only happened back in season 15. And the worst part was, they weren't even new reactive skins. They were recolors of existing ones. And basically this only happened once. Respawn added a reactive peacekeeper to the game and they seem to have a reactive flatline recolor also cooking up. But they got that much backlash and I assume that little sales, they were bullied out of ever adding them again. And the reason we know they were bullied out of adding them is because in an interview a month later, Respawn said, yo, we're not going to do that again. And if we do any monetary stuff that you don't enjoy, vote with your wallets, basically. Don't buy the thing. So, of course, this is going to S tier because I'm very glad Respawn removed this and this should never, ever come back. And on to rating the next thing before we get onto the uh, really sus one. But essentially, you may remember, only a few seasons ago, Respawn had a really bad hack on their hands. Basically, hackers found a new hack that allows them to reload anybody's guns against their will. And this was one of the first hacks we've seen in Apex that basically allowed hackers to control players against their will. And this was really bad because obviously, you can't really kill any enemies without your weapon and you can't use your weapon when it's getting constantly reloaded. So Respawn responded to this one really quick and got it removed really quick and because this was a super annoying hack, it's going in A tier. The reason it's not going in S tier is because I just find it interesting that the hackers actually managed to find a way to control people. I just have to respect that to some degree. And weirdly enough, this hack doesn't make me feel as sad as the next one because the next one is a special octane skin that was meant to release but unfortunately was changed at the last minute for a really weird reason. Because you may remember in the Gaiden event, it was a big anime event with loads of anime references, but it seems Respawn flew too close to the sun with one of the references. Because really early on, an Octane skin was leaked, which was Luffy from One Piece. He had a straw hat and everything. The thing is, these leaks were cool and everything, but when the skin was finally added to the game and the event came out, the straw hat was nowhere to be seen. Respawn had replaced it with a blue hat, most likely to avoid copyright issues and not copy Luffy's design too closely. So this was a really unfortunate removal from Respawn. So it's going to hit C tier because I would have really loved to have seen this one, but I kind of understand why Respawn had to do it. I don't think they had much choice. But we'll get back to the Gaiden event later because it has one more entry in this video. But our next entry is from Vantage. Now this image may confuse you, but this is about her voice line. Basically when she came out, she had a voice line for whenever she activates her ultimate, where she cracks a really funny joke. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, this was her only voice line for doing the ultimate, so it got very annoying very quickly. To the point where it became such a big meme, Respawn noticed and removed the joke part of the voice line, so it turned from this Better angle at echo's location. Echo location. <laughs> to this. Better angle at echo's location. And at the time this happened, I was making videos hating on this joke voice line, so this is going in an S because I'm glad Respawn removed it as it got really annoying. But back to Gaiden, because there was one thing about this event which most people didn't notice. It was the last thematic event ever, and it has been over a year since this came out, so most people have correctly assumed that Respawn have abandoned thematic events, most likely because they didn't make too much money. The thing is, these were really similar to collection events with one difference. You could buy thematic skins with crafting materials after the event ends. 
event. I could still buy the Revenant thematic event skin for really cheap. So I would imagine because people knew this, it really impacted the sales of thematic events. So Respawn stopped doing them because people would just go, hey, I like that skin. I've got no FOMO, so I'll buy it in a few months with crafting materials. So I feel really bad that Respawn removed this because it was very consumer friendly. So this is going in a C tier because I'm really sad they removed this. And the final one, the most pay to win skin ever to enter Apex. And this came out in the Sun Squad collection event and it was this flatline iron sight. Yes, it just looks like a normal optic and people caught onto this really quickly and started going, this is super pay to win. So Respawn put out a blog saying no, we're actually going to nerf this in a few weeks. So it got removed really quickly. And the thing is, I do understand why this was removed because it would have set a really dangerous precedent for future skins. And also it was just blatantly pay to win, which doesn't look very good for your company. So this is going in B tier because I kind of wish you still had it, although I see why it was removed. And with that, the masterpiece is done. So do you agree that the stuff at the top were the best things to be removed and the bottom ones, maybe not so much. And if you agree with one thing off this list, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see ya.